Hello guys and welcome to a 36 hour reading vlog. So this weekend it is the Polarthon Meltdown which is a 36 hour readathon that is hosted by Jade from Jade Ray Reads. Jade has a readathon that she does for a week called Polarthon which is centered on reading polar fantasy, so fantasy set in a cold setting. Jade also occasionally does mini rounds and this, the Polarthon Meltdown, is one of those mini rounds. So it's going from midnight tonight, it's currently 5pm on Friday so I have a few hours before the readathon is starting and it is running until midday on Sunday in Europe. UK time. The last time that I participated in Polarthon, it was the week long round at the beginning of this year, and I don't have a whole ton of polar fantasy. I have maybe a couple on my shelves, or maybe some things that I don't know are fantasy set in cold settings. So, for the week long Polarthon this year, as fantasy romance is something that I read a lot of, I decided to read four polar bear shapeshifter romances. And let me tell you, it was a whole ride. So, I feel like it was expected of me to do something similar for this version and you know what it actually works out really well because the only things I can read with pace like I'm not a fast reader I can't sit and read for hours and hours and hours I don't have that I, I want to say it's the stamina but it's more the opposite like I just can't sit still for so long and read so I needed something pacey and the three prompts we have for this readathon the first one is to read a book that features global warming or climate change or something like that and I did actually try to type in to Amazon global warming romance but um, nothing came up. Also unfortunate because one of the polar bear shapeshifter romances that I read for the week-long round actually did have something to do with climate change and global warming but sadly the, I couldn't find anything. And the second prompt was something to do with weather which is something that I could have worked with but instead I really honed in on the third prompt which is to read a book that's got something to do with ice so an icy setting, ice in the title, something ice related. So I decided instead of trying to pick a book for every prompt, because 36 hours is not a great deal of time and I don't want to mess up my sleeping pattern, so I am actually going to be sleeping. I decided to just go with ice and in this vlog I am going to be reading as many books from the Ice Planet Barbarian series by Ruby Dixon as I can possibly read in 36 hours. Now I have no idea how much I'm going to be able to accomplish, but I believe that all of these books are about 200 pages. They're not very long. I first encountered this series a couple of years ago. I think Chelsea from Chelsea Dolan Reads picked up up the first book and then since then it's had like a revival on TikTok recently. So a couple of people have asked me to read it. Sci-fi romance makes me nervous because tentacles, the thought of tentacles in a erotic setting does not really do it for me but I have been assured and fingers crossed that no one's trolling me that um there are not any tentacles in Ice Planet Barbarians. I think it's big blue alien men. So at midnight I'm probably going to be in bed, I can't lie. I've actually fixed my sleeping pattern for the first time in a long time. I've been going to bed at midnight and getting up at like half eight which is good because I get a lot of daylight hours in between half eight and midnight. But when the clock strikes midnight if I'm reading in bed I will be picking up the first book in the series. There's like 20 books in the series as well. It's intense, it's a long haul. We'll see how I feel about these first books before I decide whether I'm going to continue and try and actually finish this series because that was a big commitment. But I will be starting the first book. It says here on Goodreads it's 180 pages. I think they're all on Kindle Unlimited and that is something that I should definitely check and I should also charge my Kindle. So I'm going to do that when I'm done here. Okay yeah book one Kindle Unlimited, book two Kindle Unlimited. Yes good we are absolutely fine. So I don't actually know what Ice Planet Barbarians is about aside from big blue aliens. So the synopsis says you'd think being abducted by aliens would be the worst thing that could happen to me already not going in a direction I expected. And you'd be wrong because now the aliens are having ship trouble and they've left their cargo of human women including me on an ice planet. And the only native inhabitants I've met he's big horned blue and really really has a thing for me. This is going to be a wild ride guys. I don't even know if I'm going to like these. I've heard that the smut is really good but the plot is just kind of like average. But yeah, the second book's 200 pages. The third book's 191. So I reckon I can get through a few. Um, and that is my plan. But this is going to be a ride. And I'll check in with you guys when I've actually made a start on book one. <laughs> my Kindle's playing music. 
that I, I was not expecting that. That has not happened before. Um, oh God, I'm having a mess. It's 11.56 p.m. and I'm not quite in bed yet. I imagine I'll be going quite soon. I can't imagine me being awake much longer, but I'm awake now. Four minutes until the readathon starts. So I have my Kindle and we're starting Ice Planet Barbarians. I am concerned trepidatious i don't really know what to expect but i'm currently reading fantasy romance and i'm reading a book that i'm really enjoying that i'm putting down for this so these aliens better be all that you guys have said that they are otherwise i'm gonna be bitter about it but it's time to find out i guess i wanna go to parties i also want good part one georgie up until yesterday i'm uh, georgie never believed in aliens Scared of making my mistakes I wish for you to take interest but only when I want I could be pretty, baby And I'm pleased to see that the rope falls to the ground I'm sleeping the and confident the 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 You know all about the rest I'll burn it for you later if you like I don't know myself why I would Let's like another portion of the creature's like one Good morning! What time are we on now that I'm ready for the day? It is 9.30am and I woke up, my intention today was to get cosy, I was going to put an oversized hoodie on, get cosy and read all day but i've just woke up and the sun is cracking the flags the sky is so blue out there so the first thing i did this morning was put a wash on so that i can hang the laundry out while the weather's nice and it'll actually dry out there and now i've woken up and this week i've worked loads and everything is clear from my schedule so i was really looking forward to just sitting down and reading for the entire weekend and now i'm like you have nothing else you need to do today there's so many things you could do today you could start painting your bedroom i mean i'm don't think i'm gonna i can't right now anyway because curtis is in it but yeah it's it's a really nice day so i have been reading ice planet barbarians all of the audiobooks or i think there's 20 something books in the series and 18 of the audiobooks are on script and it's quite an easy audiobook to follow actually i've been listening to it on 1.8 speed with no problem i have just slowed it down to 1.5 while i've been doing stuff but i thought it was a good idea because while i was putting my makeup on getting ready for my day i could listen to the audio so i'm not sure how far into the book i am i was 46 pages in last night before i went to bed so i'm probably around 60 pages in now so around of a third of the way through and it's it's about this woman who gets abducted by aliens and beamed up i guess to this spaceship trigger warnings for rape in here already but these aliens are not the aliens that are the ice planet barbarians and they kind of revolt and they get disconnected from the ship and dropped onto this ice planet where the main character georgie goes to explore and see if she can find anything to help herself and the other women out because they find out that they're actually only going to be there temporarily the aliens that abducted them are going to pick them back up on their way out so she goes scouting looking for things that can help them and she stumbles across this big blue alien guy and some other stuff as well but the big blue alien guy who's love interest and this is actually dual perspective and the audiobook is actually dual perspective i'm impressed by this audio the audiobook is pretty enjoyable we have two narrators um i'm enjoying the male perspective a lot because he's very confused by this human woman who's like an alien to him who's just appeared and he's kind of attracted to her and he's just confused by everything that's going on with her but i'm just like i'm not enjoying it right now i'm not not enjoying it it's just kind of okay it's just something that i'm listening to but this is the first time i've ever listened to smart on audio and i don't know whether that might be impacting my enjoyment but it's fine so far i'm happy to continue which is what i'm gonna do but yeah that's my feelings i have no feelings so far i'm not sure if i'm gonna be into alien romance you know because aside from the tentacles I feel kind of weird about the different species and like this guy only has four fingers and three toes and he has like he's essentially vibrating at a higher frequency and I'm not really sure what's going on with that but um he deals with like resonance is the way that his species communicate and i know i read like fae romance and vampire romance and things but vampires have been humans previously and fae are pretty much human like just bigger and stronger and my nose is blocking can we not do this right now i don't really have anything to tell you right now it's fine a little bit weird i'm gonna go carry on listening to it while i drink my 
lemon and honey tea. Oh, my skin's not doing too well today, actually. I've had a minor breakout, which I think is food related. But yeah, let's let's continue with the alien smut. If you told me how, now you know the ugly thing, the business we know sent this ring from how. Okay, so it is 12.30 and I have finished the first Ice Planet Barbarians book. And I have to say, like, my opinions are pretty much straight down the middle of the road. I didn't dislike it, but I didn't love it either. The smut was okay. And I have heard that the smut is, like, the best thing about this. There is a note at the beginning of the book that says a note for some sensitive readers with some spoilers. So it is, like, essentially content warnings. So it gives the rape one there's also dubious consent in here which i definitely flagged up something that bothered me about this that i didn't love is there's a pregnancy element to it and i just generally don't like pregnancy and romances probably because i don't want kids so like pregnancy is just not a thing for me that i'm interested in reading about in romance so i prefer when they leave it out because you know like some people don't want to have kids but then on the other side some people do want to have kids and it's the whole like maternal instinct kicking in when you find the love of your life I guess. So I don't love that about it. I will say that the beginning of this section at the beginning of the book that says a note for sensitive readers says I think I got my footing after writing the first one so if this feels a little too dark to you please be assured that the rest of the series is not and actually that's kind of put me off a little bit because I felt like within the romance of this it was nice but it was also very basic level like heroine meets hero hero saves heroine's life it's essentially like a caveman romance i will say that the hero definitely made me laugh a little bit as he's struggling to understand humans as somebody who has never encountered them before and i did really enjoy those elements but it was all very like hunter gatherer must protect woman kind of tone so i'm hoping that the rest of the books aren't like that i was hoping for not necessarily darker themes but like a little bit more complexity maybe some hate to love which i guess we could get i like bully romances which are little bit darker i generally like you guys know i read a lot of books with darker topics and i'm a fan of dark romance so yeah that's book one down and i guess i'll be starting book two soon which i can't remember the name of it um but let's have a little look at the plot while we're here as well so number oh there's another one there's uh -huh. do i read the novella before i go into book two so the novella is called ice planet honeymoon vectal and georgie so i guess that's a continuation of of um, this story. How many pages is that? 55 pages. I suppose I could read that. I don't think there'll be an audio for that though, so I'll have to read it. And then the second one is called Barbarian Alien, and I'm hoping it's actually Liz and whatever the other guy is called. Will it say? It says 12 humans are left stranded on a wintry alien planet. I'm one of them. Yay me. So um, it doesn't say which one it is, but essentially at the beginning of the story, you have 12 women that are stranded on Earth after they've been abducted by these aliens. And the whole plot of the first book is that Georgie is trying to find civilization, somebody to help, some form of survival to save the rest of the women. So I'm guessing each book in the series is going to follow a different one of the women and one of the alien men from the tribe. So yeah, I guess we'll see what that one is about when I've read it. I also haven't filled in my spreadsheet for this book. I just got the rating, which was three stars. I don't even know if I've said that. So I'm going to go and sort all of that stuff out and then decide whether I'm going to go into the novella or book two next. And I'll let you know whichever one I decide. So we are now at 2.05 p.m. and the novella is finished. I spent a lot of time dicking about before I even started the novella, to be honest. It only took me like half an hour to read it was not very long i gave it two stars it was all right but something i forgot to say about ice planet barbarians like the first full book is that the sci-fi elements are actually all right like there's a well-reasoned explanation for the races and things that are going on there's something that's mentioned a lot called a qui which was actually rationally explained in the first book which i really enjoyed so it was boosted up to three stars a little bit because of all of that stuff and it actually making sense and it being like because you know they gotta be at least a little bit well-reasoned and believable 
unbelievable. I will say that I like my poem with a plot. Like I feel like this is, is my issue with some fantasy romance. I just don't feel like there's enough plot. I also, my main problem actually, is that I need sexual tension before the smart. I didn't feel any sexual tension within Ice Planet Barbarian. So like the novella, which is called Ice Planet Honeymoons, um, Georgia and Victal, was fine. It came out at two stars because it didn't really have much plot. Weird honeymoon activities going on, but it was just about a trip that they went on after they'd been mated. I will also say that the smut is better if I read it as opposed to audio, which I did think would maybe be the case because never listen to smut on audio. It was fine. And now I'm gonna go upstairs and sort out some clothes, which I'm really not looking forward to. I'm gonna get some lunch first actually, cause it's getting on and I'm hungry. And then I'm going to go and sort through my drawers and my wardrobe while I listen to the audio of the second book, which is it called Barbarian Alien. And um, sort out some stuff for charity cause my drawers are just too full and I don't wear a lot of my clothes. But I do, I'm somebody who gets ridiculously attacked attacked, attached to objects that shouldn't really hold any real emotional significance. So sorting out my clothes is always a big ordeal for me, but it really needs doing because all of my drawers are full. It, it needs to be done. I So I know it looks like I haven't moved all day, but I swear I have. I went and I sorted out all of my drawers. Didn't do my wardrobe, came downstairs. I was getting quite bored throughout the first half of this. There's just, once again, dubious consent. I don't know what it is about these men, but they like to drag unconscious women off into caves. It just seemed like a bit of a rehash of the first book, but I will say that I like Liz a little bit more. She's a little bit bitchy and she's very sarcastic. I was doing the boring task of like sorting my drawers out, so I wasn't having a good time and the audiobook just was not holding my attention. So when I'd sorted all of my drawers, I came back down, carried on cross stitching and it is now 20 to five and I'm 48% of the way through. It has picked up a little bit in the last like 30 minutes or so. I think it's because I actually quite like the love interest in this one. It's a little bit different than the first one in that the alien guy in this one is unexperienced and he's quite sweet. He's also like very silent and he's a hunter. He's a lonely guy and dubious consent and all of those other like caveman issues aside, he is quite sweet and like I said I also like the main character of this one. However, I'm now going to be taking a break. I was going to stop at five and go and make some food because I only had a very small lunch so I'm hungry but my phone just died so I no longer have the audiobook so I think I'm going to take a break for a few hours. Pick it back up after dinner. I mean my phone's dead so I have no idea how long I have left but um, last time I checked it was like two and a half hours so I've probably got just over two hours left to finish off a little bit later on. Good evening. It is now like 10 45 i think 10 30 um and i have to confess i've not really made any attempt to finish the second ice planet barbarians books i have read a little bit i only have an hour and a half left of the audio now and i did want to get three or four of these done in this vlog and during pull-a-thon but <laughs> I don't want to. They're okay. It's okay. And while I am enjoying this one more than the last one, I'm still not actually enjoying it. You know what I mean? So I'm going to bed because I'm tired. The only thing I had to do was work out today and I didn't, which is fine. I guess I've had just generally an off week this week. My energy and my mood and stuff has been really low and I have been getting up at like significantly earlier than I normally do. I've been getting up at 8 a.m. and working nine till six. So I'm quite tired and it was nice to have a relaxing day. Although I have to say just generally I'm not somebody who sits still a lot and I have been bored out of my mind for most of the day and now I'm feeling quite tired probably because I haven't actually done much so I'm gonna go to bed and Curtis is getting in the shower so while he's in the shower I'm going to listen to some more of this and then when he gets in bed I do have my physical read which is not for this vlog um, or this readathon. But I'm just gonna read a little bit of that because it's only gonna be a couple of chapters and then get myself some sleep and in the morning I will finish off the last however long I have left of this book and wrap up this vlog. This is not going as I expected. I thought even if I didn't like it, it would at least be entertaining, but I'm just bored. My overall thoughts are that I'm bored and I'm just not having a good time. <laughs> just before I get to the end of this audiobook, I have 30 minutes left, but I feel like I need to tell you guys and actually kind of ruin this experience for you if you choose to listen to the audiobooks for these this series yourself. But the audiobook narrator for book two, it's the same narrator, but she has a different accent. And in book two, 
two, she sounds like Angela from The Office, which turns the whole thing into a weird alternate universe Dwight Angela fic that I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling. It's actually quite disturbing. Good morning. I am happy to say that I have accomplished my mission of finishing Barbarian Alien. It is 11.03 a.m. Oh my god, I'm glad it's over. I'm not reading anymore. There's only an hour left of the readathon anyway, but like absolutely not. You can safely say that Ice Planet Barbarians is not for me and I will not be picking up any of these books ever again. Um, I don't even have a rating. I haven't even compiled this. Should I do it quickly? Um, but I, I suspect it's going to be two stars for this one. I did enjoy these characters more than I enjoyed the last two characters, Liv and... Is it Rahesh? Rahosh? Rahush? I feel like in the first book she pronounces it as Rahush, but in the second book she pronounces it more as like Rahosh. So I'm unsure. Let's have a little see what, what star rating this is, because I do feel like it's going to be two. The main reason for this is that I just cannot get behind all of this rampant impregnation. Like, the whole point of this book, like, it's just so caveman. They're just all cavemen and they're just all about knocking bitches up. So I can't deal, like what? I can deal with the pregnancy thing once, but there's 12 women, like human women that were dropped off on this planet. And the first two that I've read both contain pregnancy. And the thing that really pisses me off about it as well, that these women are like, oh my God, no, I don't want to get pregnant, which I feel like is a reasonable response. They're all 22 years old, but then they just have unprotective sex and they get pregnant and they're like, oh my God, it's fine. I want a baby. And I just can't, I can't deal with it, especially with the way that it was done in the first one with like there's dubious consent in both of them because like I said, these aliens love to drag women off to their caves while they're unconscious and then strip them naked. But in the first one, we also have a non-consent pregnancy, which um, I'm definitely just not about. So I'll get you a definitive rating on this. I'll give a decent rating for the characters because I did enjoy those more. Oh God. And calling the um, symbiote cutie in this was really annoying. That's harsh. I'll knock that up. See, I don't like to be harsh. I'll be harsh on the plot though. I feel like I can't really mark it down much for logic because like it makes sense. I just don't like it. Two stars. 3.43 out of 10. Not a good time. Would not recommend. I mean, the smut is okay, but like I said, I need some sexual tension. I do prefer a slow burn. There's like a nice balance for my ideal kind of romance. And most of the time when I'm reading romance, I enjoy the sexual tension more than I actually enjoy the smut. And smut without the sexual tension just does absolutely nothing for me. So if you're just looking for a bit of smut, I would say that the smut is decent. Personally, it did nothing for me because no sexual tension. The plot in terms of like the sci-fi plot it is kind of decent but it's just this caveman grab woman drag to cave impregnate her thing that really really turns me off this series. But if you're just looking for a bit of smut with some big blue aliens hashtag praise the ridge this series might be for you but it's just it's not for me and those last couple of hours were insufferable. Also the books are pretty much exactly the same with characters with slightly different personalities so I would would advise against binging these. If you do enjoy them, too much of a good thing is still too much, you know what I'm saying? Would advise leaving a break in between the books in the series, but I cannot continue. Sad because I really wanted to go all out and I could have done three or four of these if um, I was vibing with it, but I just, I had, I've had as much as I can take of Big Blue Alien Dick. So that was my experience reading Ice Planet Barbarians. I have actually read three books. One was a novella, but I read three books and those three prompts were pull -a So mission accomplished for 36 hours, I guess. I'm gonna go back to the fantasy romance that I was reading that I'm actually enjoying. Now, thank you for joining me on this journey. If you've read Ice Planet Barbarians, please do, of course, let me know what you think. And yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you've made it this far. If you have, please don't forget to like if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, you bite your friend like chocolate. You say you're a go when nobody knows. With guns in under our petticoats. We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no.